Hi and good evening everybody. In this video, we are going to see and leverage incremental queries in Apache Hoodie, which means we want to process data incrementally, which means any new data that is coming in or anything that is updated, I might want to process only the new data, not all the old data. So let's see how we can leverage incremental queries in Apache Hoodie. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, I'll head over to my notebook section. Uh, again, this is going to be in the lab three part. Uh, all the resources uh, would be given. So you should uh, be able to find all the notebooks uh, on the gear up section. Here we are defining all the settings. So I'm using glue 3.0. I'm in the US West 2 G1X. I'm going to use three workers and I'm using hoodie marketplace connector. After that, here is a pretty straightforward. I'm creating a spark session, right? And then here I'm going to create my Apache hoodie data lake. So here I'm saying the database name is going to be hoodie DB. The table name is going to be hoodie table. A unique identifier inside my data is going to be an employee ID and a precom key essentially is used for dedo purposes. So I'm going to use a column called TS in my data set for dedo purposes. Okay. This is the path for my data lake. It's in the bucket called Samil Shah hoodie demos. Uh, and in that there will be a folder called temp. If I go to the S3, I do not have anything right now. So the first example is pretty straightforward. What we are going to do is we are going to create our hoodie data lake and then we are, we are only going to insert two items into the data lake. Then we are going to update the record number one and then we are going to insert a new record into the data lake. Then when we run the incremental queries, I should be able to process the new data, which is record number one, which was updated and the new record that was appended. So let's see that in action. So the first thing that I will do is uh, if you observe over here, I'm essentially going to insert two record with ID one and two into the data lake. So let me run the cell and this might take about a second or two, right? So I'm just going to zoom out uh, and uh, we're going to wait for the, for this to complete and it's complete. And here you can see uh, we have printed that, right? If it's hard for you to see, I'll actually show you in Athena. So do a preview table over here. And here, if you observe, I have two records, append one and append two. Now the goal is when I run my incremental queries, I shouldn't get any data. But when I update record number one and insert a new record, I should see the updated and the new data only. That is the uh, goal here. So heading back to my notebook, again, this is the queries for incremental data processing. It's a pretty straightforward. We are reading and creating a snapshot called hoodie snapshot. And then we are running the incremental uh, queries here. I'm going to run this cell just to show you. And if you observe, I do not see any data. Okay. Now here observe what I'm going to do. I'm updating employee number one on the data lake. It says before this is an append one. I'm going to change this message to this is an update one. And I'm essentially inserting a new employee called three. Okay. So if I go back here, after I execute the cell, this will be added on the data lake, right? And then when I again run my incremental queries, I should see the updated data and the newly added data. So first of all, I would like to run the cell. And when I do a select star from the database dot table, I should see three records. I shouldn't see a duplicate. So the record number one would be updated. And here you can see record number one has been updated and the three has been appended. If I go back to Athena, and I just want to show you really quick. I have three records as I expected. So the first record record was updated and there is a new record which was added. That is number three. Now when I run my incremental queries, I should see record number one, which was updated and record number three, which was appended. So let's see that in action. So heading back to my notebook again. So I'll try to zoom in here. So over here again, we are creating a snapshot. We are creating a snapshot called hoodie snapshots. We are getting the commits. We're getting the begin time and I'm essentially printing that on the console. And then here we are using incremental read options. So here you can see hoodie data set query type incremental hoodie data source dot read dot begin instance time. And we are providing the begin time. And if I execute the cell, my outcome is essentially uh, I should see record number one, as you can see, this is an update, right? This is the record that we updated. So I'm able to process, uh, the new data now, right? I can process it and record number three observe here, right? This is a new append. Um, we are essentially getting now incremental data, right? 
Now, using this approach, you can essentially run jobs uh, on a cron and essentially process data. So if your data loaders are now loading data into hoodie tables, now you can incrementally process the data and essentially maybe load into other, other sources or destination if needed. Thank you so much for watching and the, all the code and resources could be found on the GitHub section below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next upcoming video. Thanks Emil for the awesome hoodie lab. To get started on Hoodie, find us at hoodie.apache.org and check out our quick start guide. If you have questions about how to use Hoodie, join our Slack community channel under Community, Community Syncs, and there's a hot link for the Slack channel. And don't forget to give us a GitHub star if you love and use the project at github.com slash apache slash hoodie. And check out the links down below on how you can become a Hoodie community member.